Well, how do there, chance as I, Captain Little Stephen, I've got myself a cup of tea. I guess I have. We're back with the old brews, people. Back in good old Blighty from my trip to the Philippines. If you didn't see my trip to the Philippines, put a link up there. Pretty good little playlist, that. Had a lovely time. Anyway, what are we doing today? We're inside of No Man's Sky today, people. And I want to answer a question for myself, more so than anything, but also for you guys inside the viewerverse. So what am I hoping to do? Let's jump on over into game, and I will explain. Heck yes. So, I've spent a little while upgrading my ship to the freaking nines. You may have noticed I've got a load of C-class pulse engine modules. I do want to find an S-class one. I've gone to tons of stations, haven't found one as yet. So, yeah, great fun. But hopefully I will. Anyway, the reason why I've upgraded my ship to the nines and made its damage potential pretty darn lovely and high, I mean, all my boosted stuff has gone into my Silotron Ballista, since this is like a Cylon ship. I'm going to fly out, people. I'm going to attack a normal freighter, and I'm going to see if we can blow up a normal freighter. You know, because we can blow up the, the uh, Sentinel ones. So if we can blow up the Sentinel ones, can we blow up normal ones? Well, let's go and find out, people. And also, I want to test out how good my ship is. <laughs> so let's go do it. Let's go and blow up a normal freighter. Let's see if we can, people. Right, so on the actual um, radar down there, what we're looking for is like uh, some sort of... There you go. Purple rectangle. There it is, there. So these are normal freighters over here. This is one that you can fly in. This one, I think... If I was to be able to blow up any of the freighters, this one should be the one that I should be able to blow up. All right, okay, well, let's uh, try out my new Silotron. Ah, there we go, I went past it. Silotron. There we go. And let's uh, shoot the living shite out of this thing. Let's take out its cannons first. Boom! One cannon down. Let's take out this cannon as well. Lovely jubbly. Because, you know, if you want to be a space pirate and a complete space git, you would like to hope that you can blow up all freighters wouldn't you you know the whole thing of picking a side like sean murray said in one of his videos you can pick a side you can do what you like blah 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 well they've kind of made that truer and truer as time has gone on but it still isn't all that true and it, it looks to be that it's not all that true right now because I'm, I'm shooting the heck out of this one you can see here there's no sort of energy bar that comes up where it did when i was attacking the um, sentinel ones so I don't think we can blow these up. Okay, well I've taken out all of its guns so far. And uh, yeah, that doesn't it doesn't seem to want to blow up. Which is a bit of a shite, isn't it? I've blown up all of its storage containers. We're not seeing any energy bars. I don't even think they've sent sentinel fighters out at me. It would be cool if you could blow up any freighter. I was really hoping that that would be a thing, but... Sadly, it doesn't look to be the case, people. Right, well, I've just shot the living shite out of this, yeah? And it looks like I can still freaking dock with it. It hasn't gone red. Well, that's a bit weird. Why would they do that? Why would they still let you dock? Let me see if I can still fly in and dock with this thing. Nope, you can't. Um, however, the actual um, entrance thing hasn't gone red. And now I think I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck, people. Okay, well, there you are. Um, I don't think... <laughs> right, okay, so you can't blow up any old freighter. No. Now, uh, this is a little odd. Oh, you know what? I was upgrading my ship, wasn't I? Oh, for fudge's sake. Okay, so I was upgrading my ship all this time. I was wondering why I haven't been attacked. It's because I'm in creative mode. All right, okay, fine. Let's apply the changes and let's just jump systems and we'll try this again on a completely different freighter. But you know what? I think, I think, well, I, I pretty much know. I don't think we, well, I just said don't think again. I don't think we can. I don't think we can blow up any um, freighters. Uh, and I'm, I'm, here we go. Let's, let's have a little sip of my tea while we walk and we'll try this again, people. That's a good cup of tea. I have missed the old cup of teas. Now, we did have tea bags out in Philippines. I even brought some Marks and Sparks ones with us, but it's not Tetley, you know? But the um, the Marks and Sparks ones, I do claim to be, you know, the luxury of teas. And they were nice. They were nice, the uh, Marks and Sparks ones, has to be said. All right, well, now I can't see a bloody freighter. There's no freighters. Normally, freighters will spawn in right by a station. And they don't always spawn in right away, but if you are looking for freighters, the best place is round by stations. And I'm not seeing any here. Fudging biscuits. Okay, well, let's let's try once again. Let's jump another system. 
Darn it! I get you can see here how many systems I've been looking for the freaking pulse drives. Yeah, it's been fun. Anyway, I hope you're liking this format of video. You know these rare sort of raw content ones where I don't do much editing whatsoever. Lovely cup of tea. It's a nice way to spend the morning, I suppose, so isn't it? Still my day off. I go back to work on the Friday. We've got the Friday weekend mission to run on Fridays, peeps. Well, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we're going to see another freighter now. Come on, freighter, where are they? Now, you can fly around and they will spawn in eventually. But normally, right by the entrance, you should... Where are my days? When you're, not, when you're not looking for them, they get in your blinking way. Oh, there you go. There, there we go. One's just spawned in. There you go. Purple block. I spoke too soon. Let's get level with it. It's somewhere near this asteroid belt, people. It's somewhere around here. Let's go and shoot the sh living shite out of this freighter then, you lucky, lucky freighter you. Okay, hopefully there's got one that's got blue doors on it. I'm going to shoot it, and then uh, we're going to try and see if we can blow it to smithereens. And if we can't blow it to smithereens, then I'll start attacking sentinel ships. We're bringing the sentinel dreadnought, and I'll blow that one up, just to show you what a freighter looks like when it explodes. Okay, um, none of these have got the blue doors, have they? Or has they? Uh, I don't think it overly matters, but it... That would be a better experiment if there was one that you can fly into, I think, people. Okay, and I'm not seeing one with blue entrance ways. Or am I upside down on this dang thing? Normally, if you see a purple box like that, it means you can fly aboard. There you go, there's one. I can fly aboard this one. So we're going to blow this one up. And hopefully. Boom. Okay, right, let's go back to my lovely Silotron weapon. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I don't like wingmen. I don't like my wingmen anymore. I'm actually in two minds of getting rid of my wingmen. Completely. Because I just find that it's a bit of a, a bind having to dismiss them all the time. The only thing is, I put so much work into the wingmen, and even getting a decent fleet of the wingmen that I wanted. It seems a little bit of a shame because you know you never know when hello games is going to tweak things and improve them but at the moment wingmen are a pain in the blinking backside having wingmen i think is actually a disadvantage more than an advantage yeah sound off in the comments let me know if i'm wrong if you found the use for your wingmen then that's cool i find that they're okay for a distraction but they keep flying in the way of my own freaking thing okay this is another thing that's a little bit annoying it's very hard to know which one is your poxy shield on these new ships. Alright, there we go. Let's recharge that then. Take that, Sentinel Scutter. Die. Freaking die. Alright, um, this is the actual freighter I was attacking, isn't it? I believe. Yes, yes it is. But yeah, no, look, there's no energy bar on these things. I've taken out all the cannons. I've taken out all the storage containers. And no, I don't think I can blow this thing up. Which is a real sort of a wasted opportunity there. I mean, they've added it in for the Sentinel ones. Let's hope that they, they see this video or see that other people are trying to be space pirates for reals and trying to be complete space gits. But it'd be cool if you could blow these up. It'd be nice if you could blow up the frigates as well. It'd be quite cool. It really would. Maybe they haven't added that in because, you know, if, if another player calls in their freighter, maybe you could blow up their freighter. You know, well, that could be quite funny as well, couldn't it? Anyway, let's, and then again, if someone blew up my freighter, I think I'd cry because the amount of work I put into the base on it. Freaking heck. <laughs> so maybe not. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. All right. Anyhow, we're, we've blown up as much as we can on that. And I think I've proven a point that you can't just blow up any old freighter. So let's go after these Sentinel ships. And uh, I blow up this Sentinel ship. And hopefully, let's get a little bit of distance between these freighters now, because I don't want those there. Oh, great, my wingmen are back out again. My blinking wingmen are here. Okay, let's uh, let's pulse a bit, and uh, let's let's get rid of my own wingmen. Go away! No, now they're back again. Go away, wingmen! I don't want you. I've... Are they gone or not? Dismiss. Yes, dismiss squadron. Okay, cool. Right, where's, where's um, where's my sentinel buddies? I've lost the sentinel heat. Oh, for fudge's sake, you're having a laugh, aren't you? Okay, fine. I go pick up another bloody sentinel. Why did they give up? Get bags. Okay, All right. Let's blow up one of these then. Boom, boom, boom. Blow up. There we go. Now we've got a sentinel after us. 
Now my wingmen are back out. What a pain in the backside. Okay, cool. Sentinel interceptors arrived in, in four, three, two, one, zero. Sod it. I'll leave my I'll leave my wingmen out just just to show a point that they tend to get in the way. What you need to have is some sort of way to say to tell your fleet to spread out. All right, not to stay near you during combat. You know, like in um, what was it? Squadron. Ah, air combat squadrons. Well, that was the air combat game where they introduced squadrons and side pilots and things like that. Look, see, that now it's just a, turned into a mess. I mean, which? Oh, okay, that, there's there's one I'm after. That's got the red trail. Okay. You know what? I think I need to change the settings so I can got the auto lock on, so it locks onto the bad guy, because it's quite easily you can end up shooting at one of your teammates for freaking ages. So if I go into general. No, it's into controls, isn't it? Controls. And lock sensitivity. No. Flight controls. Ship auto follow. Enable. There we go. Let's apply that. Then hopefully I'll be able to lock onto the target ship a lot easier. Landing sequence unavailable. Okay, cool. Fine. Press and hold. Landing sequence unavailable. Still doesn't do it. Interceptors arriving in a moment. Oh, it's probably because there's no enemies to lock onto, isn't it? There we go. Come on, hello, enemies. I'm well, still not doing it. Still not bloody doing it. Alright, fine. Well, we'll just do it out of ourselves manually then. Yeah, normally you just have to tap square and it would follow. I, I want it to work. Enable toggle. There we go. Let's see if that's it. There we go. Now it's automatically locking on. Brilliant. Take that from my Cylotron ejector. Chicka boom. That follows him round. Is he going to get his shields back beforehand? Because that's the thing that I've found now. If I'm doing this manually and trying to get them, they get their shields back. He's still got his shields back, even with the auto track. Fun times. They die. Now their flight paths are pretty much the same as well. They seem to just sort of fly past you all the time. It's a little bit scary. A little bit squiffy. Well, it's not squiffy. It's just it just doesn't feel right. Lovely cup of tea. Come on, then, Sentinel interceptors. Now, what I quite like about this um, Silotron is it does take out the shields rather quick. It doesn't do the greatest deal of damage after their shields have popped, but it does get rid of their shields rather quickly. It does seem to be like a pretty all-round weapon. Okay, I have to recharge my own shields then. Well, take that, you, you scatter, you scallywag. Chickaboom! You're dead. You're dead, you're dead. Dead into this world. Heck yes, you are. Next one. Take that, Sentinel Scutter. I say Sentinel Scutter. I'm flying around in a Sentinel ship myself now. I kind of feel like a Sentinel Scutter myself. You see that? You see how my wingman got in the way? Even on this whole autopilot type stuff. When it's on manual, uh, that's all they freaking do is get in the way. I just shot the shite out the engines of my fighter there, one of my wingmen. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, and the new AI on these uh, NPCs, they seem to fly into you a lot, which does quite a lot of damage. It's probably a pretty good little tactic, to be honest. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of my wingman. Goodbye, wingman. You're freaking useless. Okay, cool. Interceptors arriving in a bit. All right, well, let's take up this opportunity to boom and uh, upgrade my shield a little bit. There we go. Come on then, are you going to bring in your freaking sentinel blinking giant ship yet? No you're not. Okay cool, I'm going to blow you up then. You're done. Well you're not yet, but you will be. Why are you not taking damage? Because I'm not shooting you properly. Alright fine. Spin this around. Bum 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 bum. I mean yeah, the auto lock, it does take a little bit of the fun out of it, doesn't it, to be fair, but you know. Who cares? Just having a lovely cup of tea. Might be able to play this one handed, let's see. Lovely, lovely. So yeah, if you're not very good at ship combat, just put that toggle on. Make sure it's the um, auto follow enabled. Um, but yeah, there we go. That makes combat a lot easier. Playing with one hand and drinking tea right now. Lovely jobs. So yeah, space combat isn't your thing. This kind of works kind of well. <clears throat> In a roundabout way. If you turn off your wingman. Hurry up and die. Dang it. Die. Yeah, there we go. Done. 
I've got salvage glass off of that one. Nearly finished my tea, people. Nearly finished my tea. And hopefully we're going to get the dreadnought now because we're on the top rating. Could charge up my... Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's uh, fly on in. Let's do as much damage as we can to this capital ship then. Now, all you need to do is take out the capital ship. And then all the other little starfighters, all the little sentinel ships, they retreat. Yeah, we got rid of that cannon. Is that cannon dead? Yes, it is. What's this node thing? That's not a cannon. Alright, well, I wasted a bit of time there. Let's um, recharge those shields. Bang. Lovely jobs. I like the fact that you can use that new resource to recharge your shields. Take that defense turret. God, I blow these up so quick. I, I, I still thought I had to blow that thing up before. Look how quickly it does it with a Silotron injector. Freaking awesome. Normally I go with the Positron injector as my fully boosted weapon, but I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. Because this is like a Cylon ship, I went for the Silotron injector, just because it's got a similar name. Oh, you know what? I think it. I think it's pretty cool. Take that defense turrets. Boom. Oh my days. Okay, they got me good then, didn't they? Boom. Now you get. You can just focus on the actual core of this ship. It's got some balls there. I'll blow those up as well. You can just go mental and just focus on its energy bar. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, where is energy bar? Go on. NG bar, NG bar. There you go, Sentinel ship. You can see it's big NG bar. That's what we're not seeing on um, the other ships, the other, the other freighters. All I'm doing is just backpedaling here a little bit. Just, um, just staying where I am. Just backpedaling a little. And just shooting the living shite out of this the hull of this uh, freighter. Boom. Wow, this has taken a lot of killing. I don't know whether they've done something to this. Uh, oh, hello games maybe they've tweaked it a little but um, yeah that's not doing a great deal of damage is it so let's go on with the positron ejector this is usually my weapon of choice let's see how much damage we can ah there's a cannon still going there as well let's take that out I have fully upgraded this weapon as well let's use the old infra knife let's just go down the side of here I think they've made it a little bit harder to destroy these it's probably a good thing Oh great! Even though my shields aren't down, one of my um, modules just took a shed load of damage. All right, fine. Well, I'll see how that works then. Cool. Go all the way down here. You can see there, forty-eight percent destroyed. And this is the sort of thing that we don't get on normal freighters. But yeah, this is taking a lot more punishment. This is taking a lot more punishment than normal. Fly over this way. Spin it around. Throw some rockets into its blinking engines. Do you, does it do more damage if you attack the engines? I think he, I think it might. No, no. It seems to be going down a bit quicker now that I'm attacking the old engines. Shoot it in the rear. Shoot it in the rear. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there's there's a couple of cannons that I haven't got yet. Let's get those quickly. Okay, let's uh, stick to the back. The Sentinel command ship is now flashing red. Flashing red. Is it going to be dead? Oh, there's still a gun going down there. Let's go take out that last cannon. Boom! Love those breaking noises. 22. You know what? I think it might be doing more damage shooting it in the rear. I'm not 100% sure. But, um, yeah. I know that when you shoot um, normal ships in the back, you get like big yellow numbers pop out. There were little white numbers popping out there. Let's just shoot it in the rear again. Let's see if we get yellow numbers. No, it's still white. But there was a, there was a 700 that popped up there, and a 1,000. I don't know how I'm doing the, the, the more damage in certain places, but every now and again you get big damage numbers. Oh, do you see that? That was a big damage number, wasn't it? But that was a rocket that I just fired. And quite a few off of that. Oh, we better recharge, recharge, boom, boom. Oh, that's doing good. It doesn't like Infra Knife. The Infra Knife does a shed load of damage. There we go, people. And that's how you blow up a freighter. If you haven't already blown up a freighter inside a game, you can blow up the Sentinel capital ships. 
What you can't do though is blow up normal ships or normal freighters. You know, well, the normal freighters, not normal ships. You can blow up normal ships, but yeah. Done. Okay, cool. Righto. So done and dusted. And we've got ourselves one of these Dreadnought AI fragment core thingies, which is pretty cool. These are awesome, these Dreadnought AI fragments. Because when you use these after blowing up one of those, it should take you to one of those sort of little. Um, camps. If you haven't been to one of these camps, you can pick yourself up a Sentinel multi tool and all sorts of stuff. And I'll show you the camp quickly. You might as well, since I've just done it, isn't it? Right. Okay. Well, where's where's um where's the signal then? Ba ba ba. I just popped the dang thing. Sentinel intercept. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Maybe I have to pulse or something to activate it. I can't remember. It's been a little while since I've done this. Nope. I'm fairly sure it should have just located me a place on the map. And for whatever reason, oh, it's probably it's probably because I'm not in a system that's got corrupted sentinels. There you go. Now it's found me a system that has got corrupted sentinels. So it even works from a system that hasn't. So that's news. I mean, well, it's news to me. I didn't know that. So if I didn't know that, maybe you didn't know that. Here you go. I'll make myself a little bit bigger on the screen. So yeah, the easiest way to find these sort of encampments or one of these new Sentinel ships is to just blow up a capital Sentinel Dreadnought. However, you are going to need pretty decent weapons. As you can see there, my ship's fully upgraded and it still took me a little bit of doing. See, there's a lot of sort of groundwork that you need to do. Okay, right, so let's jump back over into game. Boom. There we go. And hopefully we've got ourselves a location. I think it take. Does it take you directly to a ship? I think it does actually, doesn't it? Rather than to a camp. Let's just head on down to here then. Yeah, I think this takes us to a ship, directly to a ship. But yeah, easiest way to do it, I suppose. Now, a lot of people have been saying to me, how do I find one of these Sentinel ships inside of creative mode? Well, I know that they've allowed you to find dissonant systems in creative mode, but finding the actual ships, you may just have to jump onto the old coordinates exchange. But you tell, I tell you what, I give you the coordinates for this one here anyway, so you can come and have a look at this one. Okay, it says here, land to begin your search. So it's not giving me the exact location, has it? Great fun. So I have to do a target sweep. I'm fairly sure that wasn't a thing before. Yeah, 130 used this way. Okay, All right, fine. Let's go this way then. Let's go and have a look at this Sentinel ship. Once I get to this Sentinel ship, people inside the view of us, I will give you the actual portal coordinates and also the the actual ship location, the X and Y coordinates. So if you are in creative mode, oh great, sending me back on myself. What the fuck? Well, look, my own ship's this way. This is the way I just came from. Okay. Oh, okay, well, it was right next to me then. All right, fine. Cool. So here we go. This is the Sentinel ship that's right here, and it looks very much like the one I was freaking flying, doesn't it? All right, anyhow, so if you want this location, there you go, let's go into camera mode. Let's put the uh, portal code somewhere where you can see it a bit better. There's the portal code there, down in the bottom left corner. This is in the Euclid system, people, inside the Euclid system. And you're going to have to fly to these X and Y coordinates that you can see on the screen now, which is plus 36.19 and then minus 74.70. You know what? I put down something here for you. So there we go. Oh, great. I need to make some metal platings. Two of those. Boom. Okay. Let's put down that. Boom. So hopefully you're going to see a star where this is anyway. And you know what? I put down the comms ball as well. Chikapow. Okay. There we go. And I'll just uh, put in a quick message. Enjoy. There we go. Pow! Done. Now I don't know what rating this is. I mean, it, it says there uh, starship. Oh, it's an A class. A class. Plus forty, plus twenty-eight. Pretty darn freaking nice. I better look at it from up above. It's rather tidy, actually. It's quite a nice little ship. Let's have a look at look look see at it. Oh well, no, I'm I'm not going to fix it actually. But yeah, you're going to need all these different parts to fix it. But I've done videos on all that sort of stuff, people. Oh, and if you do want to fly here manually, if you're not seeing this save beacon and you're not seeing this comms ball because that also happens, I have a video that I put in the top corner above my mic. Yeah, I put a video up there well, above my head, right above my head here. And uh, that shows you how to actually follow compass coordinates. It's quite an old video, but nothing's changed. It's still the same. So that all works the same way. 
Anyway, so this ship can be yours. You can just need to fly down, pick up all those bits that you need. In fact, if you're in creative mode, you don't even really need those parts. You can just clickety clickety click, and it's yours in creative mode, people. Now, behind these ships, sometimes you, some, you find this little crash, this little droid, the pilot of it. He's knackered. He's completely broken. But yeah, he gives you stuff for free. So be sure to check that out because sometimes the parts that he gives you, you can use directly on the ship and get it fixed a little bit quicker. So there we go, people. Repair kits, for whatever reason, don't work. Don't know why. Cool. All right, sweet. So there we are. That's that's pretty much everything I've got for you, people inside the viewerverse. Enjoy. <laughs> Just like the message says. Anyhow, let's jump back over to me inside of the actual studio, people. Yeah, so I am. Lovely job, Lee. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. And I finished my tea. Tea's empty. So no, you can't blow up normal freighters. But hello games if you are watching, people. Yeah, that's Hello Game Studio. One, love this update. Two, maybe. Because, you know, you've added in outlaws and the ability to be a pirate. Now, maybe you have to sign up at a pirate station to become a pirate. And then maybe you don't you lose your... Um, maybe you get higher grades and something with the actual pirate guilds. You know, if you're going to be offsetting your 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 reputation with the Gek, the Corvax, and the Viking, maybe have some sort of a light allegiance points with pirates or the Voice of Freedom. You know, and uh, yeah, maybe make it so you can blow up any freighter, any freighter. Yeah, and that could be quite cool. And maybe when you do blow up a freighter, maybe you get a shed load of contraband or or bits and bobs or. Or something, something to denote that you're a pirate, or some sort of bonus for being a complete git, you know? Because there was that video where Sean Murray says, pick a side. It'd be nice to be able to finally pick a side. And uh, yeah, do something more with those reputation systems. You know, if you are a pirate and you do fly into a normal station, perhaps none of the vendors are going to trade with you, or perhaps you have to use your... Um, forged passports before they do and all that sort of stuff make it so it feels like if you if you're being a git you get treated like a git basically but the pirates the more gittier you are the more that they love you you know and maybe the better missions they offer you from the pirate stations i don't know i just feel that it needs a little bit more of a re rework when you're going to be a space pirate so make it almost feel like a separate sub game if you're a space pirate where, or, unless, or make it so when you join one of the, the factions, like the Gek, the Corvax, or Viking, or whatever, there's some perks to doing so, you know, some limited edition stuff to whichever one you want to align with. And maybe make it so once you've picked either being a pirate, Viking, Corvax, or whatever, or one of the guilds like Explorers, Mercenary, or whatever, you know, make it so you're locked into it for maybe a whole month, a whole month of being that. And maybe the higher you get on the table, there's a rewards chart and you get all different rewards for that month. And then as it trickles round, boom, next month you can choose a different guild and align yourself with that. Maybe give yourself some new armor. It's like at the moment, I'm inside like the uh, Viking armor, aren't I? The Viking armor set. Well, maybe that's a quick way of getting it. Align yourself with the Viking for that month and you can get the Viking armor set. Align yourself with the Gek. Maybe you can get the Gek cowl that we're just unlocking right now. And if you're the Corvax, that Corvax is a limited edition helmet. And if you're a pirate, that solar helmet you still haven't put in game. <laughs> Little nod there. Heck yes. In fact, this should have been a whole new video on its own, shouldn't it? Whoopsie. Oh, well, I maybe I just need to adjust my title. Anyway, people inside of the viewer verse, that's everything that I've got for you today. And I hope you've enjoyed this cup of tea with Captain Steve. And I'm glad to be back. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.